What's up, you guys? This is Steven, and I'm going to do a lyrical analysis of a song called Promise by a artist by the name of Komi Hirose. I believe that's how you pronounce her name. Komi Hirose. And I found out about this song uh, because I wound up watching a post by um, the Vlog Brothers, and they were talking about different songs in different languages, and um, just about how, well, actually it was just one person, it was a guy, and he was just talking about how um, songs, these songs kind of gain popularity. He was talking about um, translating the songs as well, and he wound up playing um, Komi's promise and I was like oh this sounds interesting and cool so you know I wind up finding out who was the artist and okay I find out who the artist was and search for it on YouTube and I'm like okay let me see the music video and things like that I'm like okay sounds like a good song and also this song was used for an um, popular internet meme it was um, part of the song get down um, was used as a um, internet meme but with that all being said, I'm going to go into my lyrical analysis, so here it goes. The beginning of our love, this continuing dream, I'll surely spend it with you. Okay, so right off the bat, we know that this is a love song. And the song is called Promise, so I'm guessing um, there's a promise somewhere in this love. The cold wind, the season that brings us closer. Yeah, because you know when you call, you want to be close so that you know you can um, share each other's body um, heat. As we intertwine, as we entwine fingers, my feeling of love overflow. My feelings of love overflow. Every time I push the warm button on the coffee bending machine, a light goes on in my heart. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, I thought this was all like, oh, so like um, metaphorical and philosophical and like winter, the season of coldness and warmth and then we all of a sudden start talking about a coffee bending machine that's interesting but anywho a light goes on in her heart as well as on the bending machine too so that's interesting okay here we go with the chorus get down a shake spinning a shaking spinning touching painful feeling sleeping together together in a winter wonder a I'm sorry in a winter land not a winter wonderland just a winter land and yeah it's not really a wonderland for them trust me um, you're looking only at me me looking only at you we make a promise for tomorrow okay so they're looking at each other and making a promise so this is where the promise part comes in Hold me tight and I feel a burning love. Okay, um, hmm. If you're feeling some, a burning love, um, you might want to get checked out. Um, this guy might have been carrying an STD. Hopefully, if he had, and hopefully, if he was carrying or is carrying an STD, hopefully it is uh, a curable one. But, you know, you might want to get checked for that just in case, you know. Better safe than sorry. You know, it could just be like a urinary tract infection. But, be on the safe side and get checked out because, um, you know, I don't want you, I want to, you know, I don't want to hear that uh, Komihiro say is, you know, dead due to an STD. Wrapped in a heavy falling snow. I'll love you forever. I'll love you even more than today. Etern forever eternal love. Okay, so she, this is the this is um, more going into that promise part. So she's like, you know, forever, you know, love. They love is forever. It's eternal, you know. You know, hold her tightly, and they're wrapped in the falling snow. And by the way, from what I've heard from the Vlog Brothers post their video, um, it's like the winter. And I mentioned this before as well. The winter is symbolic of death. This song sounds very upbeat 
but it's also about death in that they're promising that they'll their love will go beyond like they'll still love each other in death so possibly you know how they say death to us do us part until like death till us part well for them I don't think they're parting or at least they still love each other in death well that's interesting that's you know that's interesting because I'm like, hmm, in death, would you still want to be with the same person in death? Maybe. If they're like a really awesome person, then maybe. Let's see. I'll treasure this silver ring. It joins our futures. A proof of our love that that will always protect me. Your gentle smile lulls even my sadness to sleep like a warm blanket. So this guy gave her a ring, and it's, I guess it's maybe like a promise ring. You know, there again with the promise part, right? <clears throat> it joins their futures, so perhaps this is a promise ring or an engagement ring, which pretty much is a promise ring. Um, a proof of their love, and it always protect her. I'm not sure, quite sure how it's going to protect her, you know? Because, like, if someone comes up to her with, like, a gun saying, give me your purse, you know, I don't think that ring will protect her unless, you know, it's like, you know, um, Captain Planet, Planeteer rings or something. And then, you know, you can be like, you know, Earth, cause an earthquake, you know, fire, burn them, wind, blow them away, water, wash them away, heart, change his heart so that he doesn't want to rob you, you know. Maybe, um, you know, if it's a ring like that, then yeah, it can protect you. Get down. Okay. I don't care about lies or promises or the orsent or recent or the resentment maybe I don't know um I don't think this is a word I think this is an error on whoever posted this part possibly but I think I don't care about the lies or the resentment perhaps spending the winter nights together we share tender kisses and wish on a star and forget the past. Okay, so she don't care about the about lies or promises. And spending the winter nights together, you know, that's what she's interested in. But if you don't care about lies or promises, then that kind of defeats the purpose of this song because this song is about promise. And that's the whole theme of this song. You didn't seem to not care about promises before now, but now all of a sudden you don't care. Okay, I see what you're about. Uh, we share tender kisses and wish on a star and forget the past. Uh, why you have to forget the past? That's not, like, that's not necessary. Wish on a star. We'll be wishing on the same star. Looking at the same I'll be always, always thinking of you. I hope you'll be thinking of me too. And that's all I got. But yeah, coming soon. <laughs> Anywho, back to business. <clears throat> Stroke my hair softly, my love. You whispered words overflow in my heart. Your whispered words overflow in my heart. I'll love you forever. I'll love you even more than today. Forever eternal love. And that's pretty much it. Um, those are all the original lyrics in the song. And um, I personally enjoyed the song. It has like a Latin beat to it. So it's kind of, <laughs> some person had posted on the, um, like on YouTube, it was like, you know, Spanish J-pop? <laughs> and I'm like, you know, Maybe. Like, it has that Latin feel to it. And the music video, um, it's low budget. It's just, um, her and her boo. Her baby. And, like, her and her, um, um, her boyfriend are driving in the car. I believe that she's, no, I think he's driving. Because in Japan, they drive, like, the passenger side is the driver's side. Like, in the United States where I'm at, like, 
when you get in your car, the driver's side is going to be on the left side of the car when you get in. But in other countries, like in Japan and in the UK, the United Kingdom, the driver's side is on the right side. So I thought that she was driving, but really, it was really he was driving. Interesting. But anywho, they drive to like this weird place. Well, not weird place, but this like forest in this wintertime. So there's no leaves or on the trees or anything like that. And they're just walking around. And then she's like, you know, get down. And that's it. Pretty much all we got. But anywho. Um, Komi Heroes is fairly interesting um, because she doesn't really release a lot of music like on a continuous basis. She kind of does it sporadically and her performances, her live performances are sporadic as well. And she was inspired to enter the music industry because she went to the United States, I believe Los Angeles, and saw Michael Jackson and Madonna perform, and that really inspired her to want to pursue a career in music. But, anywho, nevertheless, thanks a lot for watching my video, my lyrical analysis video. Feel free to comment and feel free to subscribe. Again, really appreciate the support. And, um, again, thanks a lot for watching. Adios and goodbye for now. Oh yeah, we won't meet in a winter wonderland. We'll, you know, we'll still hopefully, you know, we'll be in just a regular land. No winter wonderland. Not if it's death, no. But if it's like, you know, a winter snow, winter land. If it's like a winter wonderland, it's good. But if it's like a winter land, then maybe it might be bad. But anywho, if it's a winter wonderland, then it's good. If it's a winter land, then it might be bad. Anywho, thanks a lot for watching. Adios and goodbye for now.